Hey yo, what's up guys? Pase Baller here. We are now on this first game for this January 2, 2022 NBA game day. This is the game between New York Knicks um, with a record of 17 and 19 going up against the home team Toronto Raptors with a record of 15 and 17. This one will be played a bit earlier than usual. It's 3.30 p.m. in the uh, Eastern Time, so that's going to be 4.30 a.m. here in the Philippines. Now before we proceed, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, please uh, click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Alright, let's take a look at uh, the Eastern Conference standings first. For these two teams, um, New York Knicks, they are actually at number 10. And for their last 10 games, um, they have actually won 5. So that's uh, a bit decent. Uh, but approaching this game, they are actually off a loss. And that was a loss against the uh, OKC Thunder. For Toronto Raptors, they're right behind New York Knicks. For their last 10 games, they have won 6. And approaching this game, they're coming off a win. Alright, Toronto Raptors, uh, the game will be played at their home, so home court advantage will be theirs. Momentum is theirs too, as in, again, they're coming off a win while New York is coming off a loss. Uh, fatigue factor, um, not that much, really, because uh, uh, both teams did not play last night. Um, so let's just talk about health, and whenever we talk about health, we got to check on the injury list for both teams. Now, starting with New York Knicks, this just became longer man i was surprised to see this uh nerlens noel derrick rose jericho sims julius randall uh mitchell robinson kemba walker daniel house they are all listed as out man this just became long i mean it wasn't it wasn't this bad last night so daniel house kemba walker two four six seven players confirmed out for new york knicks while Evan Fournier is actually listed as game time decision for his ankle. So, 7 confirmed out for New York, possibly 8 depending on the situation with Evan Fournier. Now for Toronto Raptors, uh, alright, here we go. Well, this has, um, this has improved a lot because I've seen the Toronto Raptors list like last week. Man, it was crazy, but um, good thing for them, it's now down to this. Uh, Goran Dragic, DJ Wilson, Scotty Barnes, and David Johnson. So that's a total of four for Toronto Raptors, not suiting up for them for this game. I'm checking on the spread. Uh, hold on. It's minus seven uh, for Toronto Raptors, and of course, that's plus seven for the New York Knicks. All right, so what do we have here? Um, Toronto Raptors, we are seeing them uh, getting healthier. That, that's the first thing that's important. Um, uh, Pascal is playing, Van Vliet is playing, Gary Trent is there, Ananobi is playing. Um, almost all of their starting five are actually there, maybe except uh, for Scotty Barnes. Um, but again, almost all of them are there. Uh, as compared to New York Knicks, uh, we all know that Julius Randle um, ha has been placed to the protocol list. Um, and lately, uh, Kemba Walker has joined him there. And they're two bigs, Mitchell Robinson and um, what you call this, uh, Nerlens Noel. So um, that's that's gonna hurt New York Knicks a lot. Looking at this matchup, New York Knicks versus Toronto Raptors, the New York Knicks got a lot of point guards uh, to go up against uh, Toronto Raptors backcourt, and that's a combination of Van Vliet and um, Gary Trent. And the New York Knicks, despite of Kemba Walker being out, Derrick Rose being out. Uh, they still have R.J. Barrett, Alec Burks, Emmanuel Quickly, um, and they, they're two rookies in uh, M um, McBride and um, um, what's what's um, I forgot the name, man. What ha what's happening to me? <laughs> McBride and now nah, Ma Matt Mooney is actually with New York Knicks, but you know I'm not expecting him to be there. Um, Grimes, man. I was about to say McGrimes, man. So McBride and Grimes, but you know those two rookies, um, <laughs> uh, they might be exposed by those uh, two um, great 
guards of Toronto Raptors. But again, uh, what I'm saying is the New York Knicks got enough guards to go up against those uh, backcourt, um, great backcourt of Toronto Raptors. The problem would be um, uh, the paint. Um, who would contain Toronto Raptors uh, once they attack the paint? Um, again, Noel is out. Mitchell Robinson is out, so it's basically going to be Taj Gibson uh, who would play the five or the center role. Taj Gibson can actually do that, but um, if it's going to be someone bigger than him or it's going to be like a, like an all-day long attacking inside the paint, Taj Gibson may you know may have a problem containing uh, containing those attackers and containing uh, and uh, managing his fouls. Um, I understand uh, Samanich is actually activated, Luka Samanich, but um, I, I, I I don't think, you know, he would be able to um, help out that big as of the moment. Um, plus seven, uh, I think it's uh, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit okay, but it's it's just too hard for uh, for New York Knicks to really contain this Toronto Raptors. I can feel momentum um, in the eyes of Toronto Raptors. You know, they are, you know, they are being eager. They want to, you know, they want to win and their shooting is just crazy. Um, I'm talking about their three-point shooting, and um, I I don't know. Um, Kemba Walker is out too. I just don't think um, New York Knicks would have enough tools and would have enough players to really contain this Toronto Raptors team. Um, so it's gonna be Toronto Raptors minus seven with a uh, you know with a heart. Bro- I'm saying that with a heart uh, with a heart uh, crying because I'm a huge New York Knicks fan. But uh, I tried to check on it, but really I feel like um, New York Knicks cannot actually do anything about this one so it's toronto raptors minus seven raptors minus seven peace out pass love and god bless